It was going on Modern Warfare 3 Lovers. This is Community Clyde right here uh, from June and Clyde on YouTube. Check us out, please. Uh, right now, I'm about to just give you the private match Modern Warfare 3 menu screen so you can kind of see what's going on here. Very similar to Modern Warfare 2, even Modern Warfare 1, and I love it. I love the changes that they made so far, and I'm looking forward to playing with my lovely wife. Let's check it out. So we have, of course, team deathmatch right here start match press a if you're on the xbox and we have game setup which shows you the team deathmatch or the game moves you can see what they have here i'm not sure if they're gonna make any updates i'm seeing bounties gone i'm seeing uh the other one that's not hardpoint i can't remember what it's called headquarters that's gone a few options from the last one are gone right now. I'm not sure if this is because it's private match or if it's just what it is, but we'll find out when we start to play the game. The maps right now have Afghan selected. 16 maps. I did a demo, a little dry run of Afghan to give you all some familiarity with it. Hopefully you all watch that. And yeah, a good amount of maps. Looking forward to playing some of them some of them are so familiar i'm looking forward to that as well the rust the scrapyard even run down my wife might just run down then we have the custom game rules time limit score limit match start time all those things yeah this is day one the game just came out and we have not played yet on tonight it is friday yeah there's also a day before 11 11 looking forward to celebrating that all right so we have codcaster shows you the visuals cameras keybinds all those things so much more you turn off your kill feed your mini map things that you don't want to see but things that you just don't care to see Lobby members, right now it's just myself. So lonely. And you go to weapons at the top, operators, battle pass, store. But what I want to show you right now is how to add bots. I'll probably make a separate video about that. But if you're looking at adding bots or other people, these pluses right here show you there's team one, there's team two, spectator, codcaster, however you want to have it. Just hit that. You can invite a player. You can add bots. It looks like you can go up to as high as 16 people playing at once. So 8 on 8. Which is not too bad at all. I think it's the best I've seen in a while. Um, I some games going up to 6 on 6. Some just being off. Um, so I'm happy to see that. They have recruit, regular hardened, and veteran. And then they also have mixed. Choices right here. Do the same thing for Team Two. Spectator, Codcaster. I wonder if you can do four teams at once. That'd be kind of cool. So we have weapons, the normal loadouts as you are so familiar with, kill streaks, fire range. I wonder if anything's different with the kill streaks. Okay, a mosquito drone. <laughs> the devil in that little mosquito. Shout out to my baby. All right, mosquito drone, Sam turret, which we're familiar with that name. Guardian SC, and you of course can see the descriptions of what they are, what they say, what they're doing. These are just my default at the top: the UAV cruise missile and SAE. Change it around every now and then. Wow, they still have a cluster mine, even though they have a scatter mine. That's interesting. I'm surprised to see that they have a cluster mine here. Guardian SC, a beam shaped non lethal area denial weapon. Enemies entering the beam have a similar effects to a stun grenade, reduced movement speed, blurred vision, and removed UI. Okay. Not bad. That's, that's kind of cool. 
on how easy it is to destroy though. We got a remote turret. Automated turret that scans for nearby enemies and fires instead of your base rounds. Yeah. Motor strike. SAE. Okay, juggernaut. Shield. It's crazy. Nice. So that's all the score streak stuff. The firing range. Let's see what the firing range looks like. Like a normal firing range. Nothing too special. We've all been here before. That back row is pretty dark though. So I use the F Tac Siege. This is uh New one that they have or WSP stand. Quick fire. I believe it has uh, less starting bullets, but more in the reserve than the F Tech. And dummy settings, settings, legal fire range, operators. Nice little add ons. The battle pass and the store. That new menu right there as well. You can exit or enter at any time. <laughs> My demo of the map. But yeah, let me know how you like the, the menu. What things you wish to change? I'm happy they have bots. I know sometimes it's kind of hard to do this, and they made it they made it pretty easy. So let me know what you think. Hopefully you love it, and we will catch you on Modern Warfare 3. See ya.